What's up, pranksters? Welcome back. Well, I noticed in my last video, the five Christmas pranks video, you guys requested that I do more hacks, and that's what I'm gonna do in this video, because in this video, I'm gonna show you five hacks you guys can do for Christmas. Now, if you're watching my videos for the first time, guys, please hit that subscribe button now. Don't delay, hit it now, because you will not regret it. I'll keep bringing you guys more hacks, more pranks. So with that being said, guys, check it out. All right, pranksters, let's get started. Or should I call you guys hackers? Well, that's what you guys are gonna learn today. A few holiday hacks that might help you out during the holiday season. And this first one that I'm gonna show you guys, I actually resorted to this one a while back. And I'd like to believe I came up with this hack, but who knows, maybe somebody else did. But I used it at one point. And this is for you people out there that go out and buy everything you guys need to wrap up your gifts. But let's say you forgot to buy ribbon. Because it happened to me once where I wanted to wrap this very special gift and I did not have any ribbon to wrap around this gift. As you can see, I already have one right here. But let's say you do have a bow and look at this bow right here. The only thing holding it together on the bottom is a staple. So we're gonna turn this bow into some really nice ribbon that will make the gift a bit nicer. So all you gotta do is undo the staple on the bottom. And once you're able to do that, then be careful guys. Once you do that, everything should become loose and look at this you got a whole bunch of ribbon right here a whole lot of it actually look at that enough for like five or six gifts it's pretty long guys i don't know if you guys ever undid a bow but they are pretty long as you can see this one's really shiny and let's say you're trying to impress a girl or a boy well you want to make this gift a lot lot nicer than the rest of your other gifts so you're gonna wrap some ribbon around this gift and I'm telling you guys, it's better than nothing. So if you don't have any ribbon, you can resort to using a bow. You pretty much just hold it in place with some tape. And I don't know how you guys wrap your ribbon, but me, I usually corner it. I mean, the cross is pretty much close to the corner. You guys can pretty much make any design. Okay, so this is what it should look like now. As you can see, the ribbon makes it stand out more. And that special person you're trying to give this gift to will be very impressed by your creativity. And you just put a bow on top and you got yourself an awesome looking gift. Let's move on to our next little hack. What I have here is a wallet, guys, and it comes with its little case. As you can see, there's a wallet there. Now, let's say I was giving this out to one of my family members, and you don't necessarily have to give out a wallet. I'm, this is just the example, but it goes with what I'm gonna wrap this wallet with. So, you got a wallet that you're giving out, but you don't have any more wrapping paper. Well, a really clever idea that you guys can use, since this is a small case, I'm gonna be using cash to wrap this wallet up because I don't have any wrapping paper as I mentioned. So for this one, considering the size, I think I'm gonna be needing $6 bills. I'm pretty sure. I mean, I might be wrong, but about $6 bills, guys. And when you do wrap this with money, and just know that if you're using US dollars, this is not paper. Somewhere along the line, I heard that this was cloth, so it, it's harder to rip, but you don't wanna use really strong tape. So I suggest you guys stick to clear tape. Let's join these uh, dollar bills together so we have a little layer we can put on top. All you gotta do is put a piece of clear tape to join them together it's not that hard guys and what i like about this hack is i mean because i'm using a wallet as a example is that you know you might get them a cheap wallet but the fact that you're actually contributing to their wallet and the first money that they're gonna put in this wallet is gonna be the wrapping paper that you guys are gonna use i think that's a really clever idea so if you are thinking about ideas for what you're gonna give out one of your family members, you might wanna try this one out, all right? So I, as you can see, I have a layer right here which I'm gonna put on the top. And then I'm gonna do another one for the bottom. Okay, so here's my wallet and I'm gonna put the first layer of dollar bills on it, I mean wrapping paper. So we're gonna fold it down and this is just barely gonna fit guys. So I'm gonna begin taping it up and you guys are gonna see the final product. Now I'm gonna put the other layer on the bottom and I'm gonna tape that up as well. This is actually really fun, but you might wanna take your time doing this because we are dealing with money and we don't wanna damage this money because it still holds value. It might actually hold more value than the wallet itself. So gotta be careful when wrapping this up. Okay, so I'm just gonna fold these in 
and begin finishing up this gift. Wow, that is perfect, look at that. Look at this nicely wrapped gift. It actually has real money on it. Of course, the last thing we're gonna do is slap on a bow and I'm gonna put a bow right on Mr. Washington's face. And there you go, guys, look at that. You give this to anybody and you know they're gonna take their time unwrapping this. You know they're not just gonna rip out the money. They're gonna take their sweet time undoing the gift wrap. So this is a really fun and neat idea you guys can try out for the holidays. Okay, let's move this aside and go on to our next hack. Now let's say it's Christmas Eve, you're wrapping up gifts, pretty much finishing up, and then you run into a, this gift that you forgot you had. This is a jersey right here, this is clothing, and usually you put these in a gift box. But let's say you don't have any gift boxes anymore because you totally forgot about this gift and now you don't know what to do. Well, I'm gonna show you a really clever idea that you guys can do and it will look super nice when you guys do this. So here I got my jersey, of course, the Cardinals. <laughs> So I'm gonna put this in a box, but I don't wanna put it in just any box. There are so many boxes in your house that you guys can use. Since it's Christmas, you want everything to look nice. So what I suggest you guys do is this. Get a cereal box, and this is my favorite cereal. So pretty much take out the bag inside, because you're gonna need the box. And no guys, we're not gonna take this jersey and put it inside this box and slap a bow on it. No, that's so uncreative. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna Get rid of this little Reese's Puffs, everything. We don't want any color on it for now. What we're gonna do first, guys, is we're gonna undo the whole box. So separate the bottom flaps, make sure they detach, but carefully though, you do not wanna tear off those flaps because they are essential to this. So do this gently, guys. I mean, I know it might be a little bit time consuming, but it's definitely worth it. Actually, it's not that time consuming. If you're careful and you know what you're doing, then it's not gonna take too long. So as you can see, I flattened out this box and now I'm gonna look for that corner. This is the corner we're gonna detach. Well, again, carefully guys, work your magic and pretty much separate these two ends. So now the box should look like this. And notice the difference, this, you can tell it's a box of cereal, but you flip it over and you got yourself a brown plain box that you can work with. And now we're gonna put it back together, but inside out pretty much. So what was outside is now inside and what was inside is now outside. So I'm just gonna use some tape guys and I'm gonna put everything back together. Now we're gonna close up the flaps. All right guys, so here's the box. As you can see, it's a plain brown box. This one actually looks like it's a gift box. So now you take your present, and in this case, we're using a Cardinals jersey as an example, and I'm gonna stick it inside the box. Make sure it's still nice and folded. Once I put it in there, guys, it's time to close up the box, and you're gonna close up the rest of the flaps. So here's the finished product. Well, not finished yet, but this is what we've done so far. As I mentioned, it's just a plain brown box now. It's not a cereal box anymore. It looks very nice, but it's not Christmassy enough. Now, at this point, you have a, a few options. You can either wrap this up with gift wrap, but let's say you don't have any either, then you know, just give it to them like that. Or we could use the hack that I showed you earlier where we're gonna undo this bow. But if you have some ribbon, then use ribbon, but I like using this hack. So we're gonna undo the bow again. This is how the box should look now, guys. As you can see, it's got ribbon surrounding it. The last thing, of course, is always to put the bow on and maybe a label sticker so that that family member knows that this is their box. So you put the bow on the box and now you have yourself a cool looking present for Christmas. Very creative, huh? And all you needed was a cereal box. Well, we've been dealing with ribbons throughout the video. Let's say you have a bunch of ribbons and as you can see, the ribbon, when you all cut it open and you use it, it becomes loose and then it could get tangled with other ribbons if you store them in the same place. So a cool little hack that you guys can do for this is, I got myself here a little gift box. It's actually a cylinder, but you can use anything you want. And this one's too long, so I'm gonna shorten it a little bit. But the point is that I'm gonna put this roll of ribbon inside this gift box and then I'm gonna make a cut and it's gonna look really nice. So let's not get too ahead of ourselves and take it step by step. Pretty much I'm cutting this in half. And I like that this is cardboard so it's easier to cut. So now that I made that cut, I'm able to put this roll inside and it should fit very, very nicely in there. Yep. 
So now I'm gonna make a little slit right here and this is where the ribbon's gonna come out through. And try to make it snug, guys, so that the ribbon doesn't pull in all the way. Once you have the little slit, you're gonna run the ribbon through it like this. It has to be snug guys, that way like I said it doesn't pull back in and it'll be hard to take out. And the last step is to put the cover on and look at that. Now you have your ribbon, you can pull it out and let's say you needed a small piece like this. You just cut, make sure there's a little bit sticking out, that way for your next time that you need to use it, you pull out some more, you make a cut and carry on. So it's a really nice hack that you guys can do. I really like this hack, look at that. So keep doing it like that. It's very, very neat guys and you can easily store this anywhere. And you can make multiple storage units for your ribbons. Cool hack, huh? Lastly, let's say you're looking for stocking stuffers. You know what the best stocking stuffers are? I would say our candy. I don't know if you guys agree with me, but, but I love stuffing my stocking with candy and candy canes are the best for that because you can hang them on the stocking like either like this, like this, or like this, because it's got a little hook shape, so a candy cane can hang from a stocking. Well, let's say you, you want to do that, but at the same time, you run out of candy canes. You don't have any more candy canes, so here's a little hack that you guys can do to make your own candy canes. That's right, you're gonna make some candy canes. They are gonna look like candy canes, they are gonna be candy, but they are not gonna be like these ones. So for that, what you guys are gonna need are straws and not just any straws they are flexible as you can see you can stretch them out too like that well we're gonna mold them into a candy cane shape so as you can see it's able to bend so we're gonna make it into the candy cane shape like this guys measure it out and then make a few cuts for example the bottom since the straw is too long i want to make it exactly the same size as the actual candy cane just like that. Look at that. Does it look like a candy cane? Well, not yet, but we're gonna shape it into one. But before we finish this off, we're gonna fill it up with some candy because it's not gonna be a candy cane without candy. And the type of candy that I'm gonna put inside this straw are nerds. These little candies fit anywhere and a straw is no exception. So I'm gonna seal off the bottom with some clear tape. I'm just gonna put a piece of clear tape on the bottom to create a seal. That way the candy will not escape anywhere. Now this tip I'm not gonna seal off just yet because I'm gonna fill it up with nerds like I mentioned. So the tricky part is getting them in there. Now you can put them in one by one but I'm just gonna stick the straw in there and it should be able to fill up a little. It really is just that simple guys, just scoop them in. As you can see I filled up this whole straw with nerds and now I'm gonna seal off this end right here, just like I did the bottom. So now that we filled up the straw with nerds, we're gonna mold it again like I showed you before. And there you guys have it, an awesome looking candy cane filled with nerds. I'd actually prefer to get this than this, cause yeah, this is kinda too minty. And I love nerds, so if I get a straw filled with nerds, I'm gonna take this one. And if it's in the shape of a candy cane, it's more Christmassy. Any kid would love to get one of these. Now you just take your candy cane and you can hang it on the stocking like that. And any kid that wakes up in the morning and sees this, at first when they see it, they're not gonna really think much of it because yeah, it does look like a candy cane. But when they shake it, it rattles. It makes a little rattling sound and that is the nerds in there. The little kid is just gonna break off the little seal of tape and begin to eat that candy. It's a really nice hack, guys. Here you guys have it five hacks you guys can do for Christmas. Now you can give me all this stuff about saying, next, you're cheap, next, nobody's gonna do these. You never know, guys. You never know when you're gonna run into a situation where you're gonna need one of these hacks. They are nice to know, you don't necessarily have to try them, but like I said before, there's a solution to every problem, and I just came up with five solutions for those five problems. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, please give this video a big, big thumbs up like this one as big as that. And for those that haven't subscribed, please do so. You can find the subscribe button anywhere on your screen or look for it anywhere. It should be on there. It's a red button that says subscribe. 
please hit it once. Don't hit it twice because you're gonna unsubscribe. Just once, that's all it takes, and then you'll be getting notifications. Oh, actually, yeah, click on that bell too, so you guys get instant notifications of when I upload. That way you guys are up to date with my projects. Also, I wanted to let you guys know, for those of you that don't know, I've mentioned it before, but I'm giving away this Xbox One S. I'm giving it away at Instagram. So if you're not following me yet, please follow me on there at real underscore next raker. Look for the designated post and leave a comment. That's all you guys gotta do. The winner will be chosen randomly. So you don't have to write anything out of this world, but I do appreciate those nice comments that you guys have been leaving me. There's been a lot of them. Anyway guys, good luck to you guys all. And don't forget to check out my next video, which will be, you guessed it, five more pranks that you guys can do on Christmas. They are gonna be pretty messy, so I'm just warning you already. So hopefully you guys are subscribed so you get that notification of when I upload that next video. Thank you guys for watching and happy holidays. Okay, so the syringe is right here and I'm gonna push just barely and it's gonna squirt. <laughs> oh. See that again. So tell them, hey, why don't you just give it a shake and try to guess what's inside? Of course, they're gonna pick it up and this is what's gonna happen. <laughs> so I'm just gonna stick it in there, get some ketchup like that, guys. And then I'm gonna fill in this bowl with ketchup. All right, well, here goes. <laughs> Look at that. It keeps on going and going and going. <laughs> Definitely gonna ruin somebody's Christmas, right? 